hurts me. My sweetheart. I'm sorry, I woke you up. Go back to bed. You normally go out before I come, but today I have to be here before you. Where is my rent? Please, just give me, give me a little more time to hustle. I promise I'll pay this time. I'll pay everything. You better stop saying this. This is what you always say anytime I come here. I need my money or you leave my house. Where do you want me to go to my daughter? I don't have anywhere to go to. Please, I promise I will pay you. That is not my business. It's not my business. Pay me. I will. I promise. Just little more time I'll pay. This time I promise I'm going to pay you. I won't owe you. Please, I'm begging you. At least for the sake of my daughter, please. Don't throw me out. I will pay. Please, I'm begging you. I promise I'm going to pay. I'll give you till weekend. Make sure you pay me my money or you leave my house. I will. I'll pay. I promise I won't disappoint you this time. I'll pay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. I'll pay, I promise. I won't disappoint you. Mommy, are we going to be thrown away? No, babe. We won't be thrown out. Okay? I will make sure we always have a roof over our head. Hmm? Go and shower, then you come down and watch cartoon later. Okay, Baby, are you alright? My landlord was here. I'm so sorry. Ron, I am tired. I know. We have to be strong for Amara. How can I be strong when we are about to be homeless? Babe, look, I'm expecting a paycheck from the agency I modeled for. So once I get the money, I'll lend it to you. Ron, Ron, I can't, I can't let you do that. You're just staying here for a few months before you travel. I can't let you Babe, do stop that. that. When things were okay for you, you used to help me. So why won't I help you now? I've not even paid back the last loan you gave to me. Don't worry about that. You can pay back whenever you can. Just when I get the paycheck, I'll give you some money, okay? How much do you need to complete your rent? My rent is a million to... I, I was able to pay 700000 so I'm owing 500000 All my savings went into my mom's ailment, and yet we lost her. I'm so sorry about your mom. Once I get my paycheck, I will give you the money, okay? Ron, are you sure about this? I don't want you to do anything uncomfortable because I know you have plans to relocate. Don't worry about me. God gets me. I feel so guilty that all I do is take and take and take from you. Come on, what are friends for? I mean, how can I sit here and watch you and my goddaughter be thrown out of your home? That will never happen. 
Thank you so much. What, what would I have done without you? Trust me, if I wasn't here, God would have brought somebody else to help you. Just beg your landlord for some time, and once I get my paycheck by next week, I'll give you the money. Thank you. What about your guardian angel? I've, I've not gotten anything from my guardian angel in a while now. I guess I've been forgotten. Don't worry, everything will be just fine in no time, okay? Stop thinking too much. I'll be back, I'm heading out. Just don't think too much, promise me you won't think too much. Promise. start the trip now. That's fine. Please be careful. I will. How JP Motors are the service? Take me home. Um, why is home, sir? I don't know where your home is. You could give me the address. Just drive. Drive. I need to have an idea of where you're going to. Just drive. Okay. circles for a while now. Are you sure you know where you're going to? Oh? Uh, uh, I... Uh, Please, sir, where, are you, where exactly are you going to? I need to know. I... 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 I, I don't know. I think I'm lost. Wait. What do you mean you don't know? I am lost. I am lost, I am lost, I am lost! Okay, I'm lost what again. What kind of problem is this? What do you mean you are lost? Well, you told me you were going... Please, sir, please, I can't do this. Just calm down, please. Calm down, calm hmm? down. What do you mean you're lost? You don't know where you're going to. Please, calm down. I can't do this anymore, please. Hmm? Sir, get down from my car now. Since you don't know where you're going to, can you kindly get down from the car? What kind of problem did I put myself into? What do you mean you're lost? Just get down from my car, please. Calm down. Hmm? Calm, down. Ah, calm down, please. Calm down. What do you mean you don't know where? You... Where? Who was your name? Who are you? Uh, uh, my name. Uh, my, 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 my name is. <clears throat> Look, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how I got there. I, 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 I what don't do you know. mean you don't know how you got there? Don't you have a name? Where are you? Where were you coming from? And where are you going to? Uh, uh I'm, I'm going to. Oh my God! Look, you've just wasted my whole day. You see, there are shades here. You can stay anywhere. Instead of on the road, stay in the shade here. Where you remember yourself, you find your way. You just wasted my whole day, burning my fuel, <laughs> wasting my time all, 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 all over the city. I, 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 I have some money here. I have some money here. You can, you can take. Take all of it for your for your fuel and your troubles. Please, I, I, I need help. So you don't know your name? I, I don't know my name. You don't know where you're going to, you don't know where you live. I'm going to um Where? 
I can drop you off. Just tell me where you where you're going to. I don't know. 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 I'm sorry. I, I can't tell. I need to go home, please. Huh? You can stay anywhere here under the shade instead of under the sun. When you remember yourself, you find your way. I don't know. Please. Uh. Okay, my name is. My name is. Uh. Please. Please don't leave me. Please. 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 Please don't go. Please. She's sleeping. I waited out for you, but sleep one in the end. <laughs> I trust my girl. So how was work today now? <clears throat> work was good, but something strange happened on my way back tonight. On my way back, I this man flagged down my car and I wanted to make extra bucks for the day. But into the ride I Noticed he wasn't stable. What do you mean he wasn't stable? He flagged down the car like every normal person and I asked him where he was headed to and he couldn't remember, like he doesn't know where he's headed to. He couldn't even remember his own name. Is he okay? I mean, is his head working? How is it possible that he doesn't know where he's headed or even his own name? I don't know. Like I said, he flagged down the car like a normal person. And he looked normal to me. Apart from the fact that he was limping and he had this funny hairdo. So I thought he was a musician or an entertainer mm -hmm. or a Rastafira. You know how those young guys these days can be. So where is he now? I left him there. I left him right there. And he was begging and pleading that I should help him. He can't remember his name. He doesn't know where he's headed to. I left him there. I actually feel pity for him, honestly. But that's if he was actually telling the truth, though. Okay, but you know you can't trust people these days. You honestly can't. But one question I have is, how did he end up on the road? Doesn't he have family members or something? That leaves a lot to ponder on, don't you think? I thought about it myself. But then again, he can actually go to the police station if he's feeling lost. Yeah, he could, but you could have taken him. I wasn't thinking straight. I just wanted to leave there. Like, I wanted to leave that scene. But then again, I can't take him off my mind. It keeps playing in my head. The sight of him begging and pleading and asking me for help. I just can't get it off my head. I don't know why. Hmm. I don't even know this guy, but I feel pity for him, honestly. He looks normal to me, but all of a sudden, he, I found out that he wasn't. The whole thing is just like... I, it's messing up with my head. I can't get it off my head. Mm. What is actually going on? Just don't think about it.
Kerry's bag. So you and Auntie Ronke went out without me, right? Auntie Ronke got me busy. I can see that. And mommy's going to have some. So you're going to go warm this up and get me some. I want a large chunk. We go for now. How was work today? Work was fine. I saw him again today, Ron. You did? Yeah, and he was looking so tattered and hungry. I feel so much pity for him. He might be telling the truth. Maybe. Why then would he be lying down there on the streets all by himself? And he, he, he looks like a decent man, like someone life happened to. I don't know why I can't stop thinking about him. You're a good person, that is why. You always want to help people. I feel pity for him too. Imagine being homeless and not having any memory about who you are. It's, it's actually very sad, honestly. I think the only way I can help is go to the police station. I think so too. I haven't eaten in days. I'm starving. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you remember me? No, I don't. Who are you? I was the lady that picked you up in my taxi and you refused to go out, so I had to push you out. I was the person that suggested you stay under the shade till you remember yourself. I dropped you right there. I'm so, I'm so sorry, I... I was desperate. I needed a place to lay my head. You said you've not eaten in days now. I remember I saw you with money the other day. What happened to it? It was stolen. They took it all. Everything. Okay, here. This is the money you gave me the other day. You can have it. I brought it back. Thank you, Thank you very much. It's okay. Um, I want to help you. I want to take you to the police station. Police? No, 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 no. no. Please. Please, no police. Please. Why? No police. No police. Please. Please, I beg you, don't, 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 don't call the police, please. Please, it's, no police. It's, it's, it's okay, no, no, no police, I've heard you. But why? Are you scared of the police? Yes. They will beat me. They beat me. They beat you? Yes. Look at my body. Okay, my body do you remember anything apart from the police beating you? Do you remember no. friends, family? They beat me. They beat me. Okay, what, what, what is your name? My name is... Hi. I can't remember my name. God, are you sure you can't remember anything? Maybe your family, your friends? Because I know somebody somewhere must be looking for you.
welcome. This is my house. This is our home. Okay, ma. Uh, but you can't come in with us. You just stay here and make yourself comfortable. I hope you understand. Thank you, ma. I appreciate it. You're welcome. But, mommy, no money. Your mommy knows what she's doing, okay? Make yourself comfortable. brought you food and some drugs for your for pain and headache and full body pain. Thank you very much. Help. You're welcome. I'm really sorry I I can't let you in. I hope you understand. It's fine. Thanks for everything. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Good night. Happened to such a handsome, healthy young man. I don't know. It's just so sad. I wonder what could have happened to him if I had left him out there. Maybe someone would have taken him to the mad people's home or used them for rituals. God, I can't even think about it. What does it feel like not knowing where you are or who you are or your name and you have to wander the streets? Does he not have family members? Okay, the guy doesn't remember anything. I've asked him that severally. He doesn't know anything. Dude can't even remember his name. <laughs> Man, this is sad actually. I feel for him. Such a fine man. You've said that twice today already. Now fine, he won't chop. You should be more concerned about how he's going to regain his memory because he's not going to sleep on my doorstep forever. I know, right? I just hope he regains his memories very soon because I'm very certain somebody will be looking for him out there. How about we put out his pictures on social media so that his family can identify him? I suggested that, but he freaked out. He said he doesn't know how he got on the streets, so he can't trust anybody. Hmm. Now that sounds fishy. But I know he'll definitely regain his memory and remember his name and all that. Well, it might take a while, but I don't know how long if I'm going to be able to accommodate a stranger in my doorstep. Well, let's just hope he regains his memory soon. That man, fine, shall. What is your name? Well, I... I don't... Why? My name is Bruce. Bruce? What kind of name is that? Hey, come. Hey, no. Your 
name is Bruce. I thought you said you couldn't remember your name. Well, I couldn't tell the little girl that. I had to make up that thing. And you expect me to believe that? But it's the truth. You know, Bruce, like Bruce Lee. Oh, no! Um, sorry about that, but Bruce Lee, yeah, the, the martial artist. Sorry, I can't let you into my house. Not yet, because I don't trust you. And you can take this and buy anything in case you need something. Um, thanks for the food, but you don't have to do this. Take it. You need this more than I do. Take. I'm off to work. Take care of yourself. Thank you. So fond of you. She insists I give you this drink. Here. Thank you for me. I will. And food will soon be ready. Ronke is making something. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. If I try to, you try it back at me. Um, I'll, I'll rather just watch you do your thing, you know. Do you know what happened at school today? What happened? Today was Father's Day and we were supposed to bring our daddy to school. But I don't have a daddy. You don't? No, my daddy is dead. Amara! 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 So why didn't you tell me how far that day went today? You didn't tell me and you're telling Uncle Bruce. How did it go? It was okay, Mama. 
What happened? Did you enjoy yourself? Is there anything you want to tell mommy? I felt so bad. Most of my classmates came with their dad. But I'm good now. I have you. Of course, darling, you have me and you always have me. If you want to say anything, talk to mommy, play with mommy, you can. And not some strangers that you don't know. Strangers? Yes. Do you mean Uncle Bruce? Yes, I mean Uncle Bruce. I have warned you. Be careful. Be careful of strangers. You can't trust people these days, especially the ones you don't know. Okay? You have to be very careful. Don't forget mommy's warnings. You can tell me anything. Come inside. It's about to rain. You can come back out tomorrow morning. If I, if I go in there, she'll send me away. Let me worry about that, okay? Let's go in. You can sleep on the couch. It's about to rain and it's very dangerous. You can catch a cold or something. Let's just go inside. <laughs> Rudy shivering. I will call you get you a new shirt to change into, okay? Are you sure? Yes, let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> I let him in. It was about to rain last night, so I couldn't let him get dressed outside. You should have asked me. You can't just bring in a stranger into my home just like that. That's so wrong. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll just leave. Thank you. Babe, I'm sorry. But would you rather have left him out there to get beaten by the rain? Please, next time, ask me. Please. Come on. Oh my God. Are you okay? Huh? No, no, no. Oh my God, you're freezing. No, 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 no. I'm so, I'm so cold. I'm so um, cold. Oh, oh, let me get you something oh. to keep you warm and something hot to drink as well, okay? Oh, thank you. Um, come, you can come, come inside. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, it's okay. Come. Sorry.
Good morning. Good what? Good morning. What is good about this morning? Where is my money? I don't have it completed, but I have some I can transfer to you. I am not taking any sum. Give me my money complete. Landlord, I will pay you. Well, I have not been able to pay. Look, there's no way to talk to a lady. Who is this one? You even have the right to bring in the money to my house to talk to me like that. I pay rent in this house, so I have every right to bring in any money. No, 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 no. You have no rights to bring in any money to my house. You are still owing me. Pay me my money. I don't have it complete. I can transfer what I have. This is what you always say every time you transfer what you have. And who is this man? Let me handle this. Okay, no, no. Like I said, I don't have all of your money, but I can give you what I have. I no way. Right. No way. Give me my money complete. I don't have it complete. Then pack out. Go and get your things and leave my house. Then you have to give me six months usual time to get another apartment. Look, let's not complicate things. You know I'll pay you. I can't owe you. I'll definitely pay. Let me transfer what I have to you now. Then I'll pay up the rest later. All you have to do now, transfer the money as you said. I will. And make sure you pay the balance. Thank you for coming to my defense. Sorry about that. It's Hello, Mr. Bruce. His name is not actually Mr. Bruce. Anyway, never mind. I got you this. It's a drink. It will help to give you some energy. Thank you. You're welcome. Hope you're good. Thank you. Yes, I am. Um, this came in for you. Did you see the person that brought this? Um, the delivery man. He said it's for Mary Okonkwo. That will be you, right? Yeah. It's him, right? Yes, of course. Hmm. This mesmerizes me all the time. Thank you. For your guardian angel sent you another money. Look at me thinking that the monies have stopped coming through. And I come back home to this. I am so happy. Wow. Now I can pay my landlord. I am so happy for you, babe. Oh, God. But my paycheck would have come in next tomorrow. So either way, you would have still been able to pay your rent. I'm still going to pay you what I owe you. Oh, please. You worry too much. <laughs> Look, I can't, I can't believe this. So happy. Do you know what surprises me? What? It's the fact that Bruce or whatever his name was, it didn't take the money. I mean, it came in a white unsealed envelope, so you can easily tell that it's money that's inside. So that's surprisingly true. Mm -hmm. I mean, for a homeless guy that doesn't have any money and does not know who he is, some people would have taken the money and you wouldn't even know it came in the first place. Honestly, I think he's a good man. I think so too, but we mustn't let our guards down. Of course. We still have to keep our eyes on him. What is it? I just got a message 
from oh. interview. Oh my God, the job you told me about? Yes. <laughs> wow. oh, so good news oh in one God. day, babe. I'm so happy for you. Oh my God. Oh. But the thing is, getting the job, that's the most important Please, part. Please, don't worry about that. You will get it. And even if you don't, trust me, a better job with a better pay will come around. But I can't believe all of this is happening at the same time. I am so happy. Tomorrow, first things, I'm going to go change these dollars and pay my landlord. Yes, please. Come on. I'm tired of this harassment. I don't even want to see his face again in front of my door. No, I don't want that. God. Oh. Babe, about Bruce, I think you should let him be sleeping on the couch at least. I, I hope we're not making a mistake. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. Bruce. How was your night, Mr. Bruce? My night was good. How was yours? Um, you look really nice, ma'am. Oh, thank you. I'm actually headed out for an interview. Okay. Your food is in the kitchen. You can have it when you're ready. Thank you. Good luck with the interview. Oh, Bye, thank Mr. you. Bye. Good morning. It was fine. How was yours? Uh, that was good. That's good to hear. So how are you doing this morning? Fine. Thank you. I see you're watching something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. I'm so crazy. What's <laughs> how? <laughs> okay. Hello, babe. How did it go? It didn't go well. And my car decided to stop me on the way on my way home. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, my dear. Ron, I am frustrated. Like, I am so, so frustrated. Babe, just calm down. Yeah? So what are you going to do now? I've called my mechanic. He said he's on his way. But you know how they can be. Only God knows when he will get here. I don't have a choice, I'll just have to wait till whenever he's here. This one is extra expenses that I did not plan for. Huh? I'm not even talking of my rent that I'm yet to sort out. Now this, which can kind of life be this now? I know. I wish I was there to help you. Just help me pick up uh, Mama from school. I'm, I'm sure she'll be waiting for me. Please. Of course, I will. Just, please, just wait for the mechanic to come. Problem is this. Eh? Oh, problem is this. Of all days, I can't get any water already. Car troubles? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. My, my car wouldn't start. My name is Tade. Mary. Okay, let me let me just check it out. Okay. Can you hold this for me, please? Sure. 
Well, um, I just checked the water gauge, um, the fan belt, and um, well, the oil. When was the last time you serviced this car? It's been quite a while, a very long one. Okay, um, I think the car needs servicing, so I'm going to call my mechanic and then it, it no, no, pick no, it no, up. No, 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 you don't have to. I've called mine already. He's on his way. Oh, great. Then I'll, I'll just sit here and wait until he gets here. No, you don't have to. I'm sure you have some other important things to attend to. Oh, and here. Come on, you don't expect me to leave a beautiful lady like this out here all alone. That's not gentleman-like. It's okay, I'll, I'll just wait. Okay, how about um, you come inside the car? Um, I have some cookies and some other beautiful snacks. Trust me, you'll love it. You know I can say no to that. <laughs> I know. Let's go. Thank Hold you. Hold on. I I'll get it all. Oh, wow. Thanks. <laughs> yes. Oh. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, so, um... Thank you for waiting up with me today. It's okay. Uh, I'm glad I bumped into you today. Me too. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Uh... Uh... We should go out tomorrow. I'll think about it. I have to go. was a super teddy and she would just be flying across the city of Lagos. Boom! Boom! <laughs> so wasn't that funny? <laughs> Hello, how are you? Why is Auntie alone by yourself? She's in the kitchen. Oh. Um, <laughs> thank you. My heart skipped for a moment. I thought you left her all by herself. No, no. But now that you're back, I need to step out briefly. It's okay. Um, how was your day, Mr. Bruce? Hope it was good. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry about earlier. I, I'm just trying to protect my kid. I, I can't really trust you around her. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm just being careful. I, I didn't really mean that. I understand. Okay, let's go. Time for bed. How, how was the interview? It wasn't that good, but keeping my fingers crossed. I'm sure the odds are in your favor. I pray. Let's go. Let's go. Time to go to bed. That's not possible. It's late and you have school tomorrow. You need to go to bed. Let's go. Say good night. Good night, Mr. Brooks. Good night. Yeah, keep the remotes, okay? All right. You can, okay, that's good, it's fine. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. You know you don't have to do this. 
Shuba is so sparkling clean. You did all of this? Yeah, you you gave me a roof over my head, so it's the least I could do. Okay, but you you shouldn't have. You don't have to. Well. Are you okay? Mm, not really, but I have to go about my day whether I'm good or not. I'll go make breakfast. I made breakfast. You did? Yes. How? Give me what? Okay. <laughs> really? Wow, wait a minute. Well, this is a sumptuous mm. breakfast. Mmm, something smells nice. He made this, he cooked. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. He made this? Yes. Yes, this morning, early this morning. I must have slept really deep then. Let me get you yours. Wow. I'm beginning to get worried. Why is that cooking? Why? What if it's poison? Jesus, why would you say anything like that? Oh, you're not getting me worried. I don't know, it could be poisoned or anything. I mean, why is it making this food? Yeah. Ooh, okay, this looks good. As you can see, it's not poisoned. Um, no, we didn't think it was poison. We just thought maybe it wouldn't taste good. It's okay. I understand. Uh, so, are you just gonna sit there and watch us eat? Why don't you join us? I... I have cleaning to conclude. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, have you been able to remember anything from your past? Anything at all? No. Sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I, I shouldn't have asked that. Maybe not now. Maybe later. Sorry. It's okay. I'm really sorry. Enjoy your meal. Um, just in case you're not strong enough to take Amara to school, I could actually do that. No, you don't have to. I, I, I won't take her. You've done enough already. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks for the food. Oh, there she is. <laughs> hey, come. Uncle Bruce cooked. Look at. I'm sure you want yours. I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Big oh, man. That's my this... brother. What's up, man? When did you get into town? Uh, just about two days ago. Ah, <laughs> uh, you. I've told you so many times that whenever <laughs> you are coming. You should come to my place. This place is like yours. All um, right? I'm casa su casa. <laughs> Hello. Well, um, I tried calling you a couple of times. I don't know what's wrong with your phone. I, was, I mean, it's oh, not connected. Yeah, I've been, I've been a bit uh, busy lately. No, yeah. Oh, you're yeah, busy. But, yeah, but I'm sure you're staying in a hotel, right? Oh, yeah, of course. So we're going to get your things right now. Uh, well, uh... I, I actually didn't want to inconvenience you. You know, I tried to call you, you didn't pick up, so I decided to just go to the hotel instead of stressing. I've told you that there's no inconvenience. Come on, my house is your house. I don't have to oversee that now. Come on. Well, I'll think about it. What are you thinking about, even, Daddy? <laughs> Look, whether you like it or not, we're going to get your things. Hmm? No problem. It's good to see you, bro. Ah, <laughs> see my um, You say you're growing taller every day, Sha. Uh, uh, Tega? What? Hold on, I, I didn't even notice. Why are you dressed like this? You, you look like some street riffraff. What, what was that thing on your head? <laughs> oh, that, uh... I, uh... I went for this... costume party. Yes, you know, like, that Halloween kind of party, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, are you talking to me? I know you. Tega, when was the last time you went for a Halloween party or some costume? Tega, it's not even November yet. Yeah, I'll just say I'm trying out new things, all right? Besides, they say change is the only constant thing. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Talk to me. Ah. Look, a lot has been going on. 
all right? And in due time, I will explain. A lot. Yes, like, let's just say, my past came calling. And I just have to deal with it. And also deal with the miracle that it came with. You know, I've, I've been tr I'm, I'm, I'm trying to connect the dots, but you're still not making any sense. So what are you talking about, bro? Go straight to the point, man. I'm here to talk to now. Talk to me, bro. You know what? Just forget it. When the time comes, you will understand. I will explain. There's nothing I'll say now that will make sense. Let's talk about you, man. What's up? What's up with you, man? What's happening? What's up with your work? The girls? Those are your girls, you know? Well, I've been chilling. Um, although I've, I've, I'm yet to seal the deal that I came here for. But then I've also had quite an eventful week. Tega, I met this girl. Tega, this girl is beautiful. She's beautiful and she's smart. <laughs> Why are you sounding like it's a new thing? I mean, I would have been more surprised if you had said that you didn't meet any girl. Come on, you meet girls every single day. Sometimes five in a day. Uh -uh. Which one are we talking about? Is it Chiwendu or Chioma or Esther? What's the other one's name? That, that uh, one that is a makeup artist that can't even make up to save her life. Uh, doing... <laughs> yeah? What are we talking about? Listen, I know. I wouldn't even believe myself either. But then, on a serious note, Tenga, there's something about this girl. You know all those serious ladies, those independent women? To have their shit together. Mm. Like she, she, she's one of them. She's really mature and, and really smart. I don't know how to explain this, but I think I'm going to follow up. Mm. Yes. She is. Like, you really need to meet this girl. Like, she's... Hmm. I just... There's this connection that I felt when I, when, I, when I saw her. I think there might be something for us, you know? Wow. Beatrice had her shit together too, you know. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't sounded this serious, you know, about anyone before. I wouldn't believe myself either, but it, it's happening, bro. It's happening. I see no trust you, shot. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's a good thing, right? Yes, it is. Can't wait to see this person. You will eventually, but I'm I'm still on the process. You know, I've, I've not really. You know, I'm still trying to, you know, taking my time. This one, this one, this one's the real deal. Mad. From the look of mad, mad, yeah. mad. Alfana, you know Cook? Yeah, I'm sure the Cook um, made something, but I don't understand. Is, um, is food prohibited in the hotel where you're coming from? Like, okay. you didn't eat before coming here? Well, I know cost me. You get food, Abby, you know get food. Yeah, I'm sure the Cook made something. <laughs> you go to the food corner, we'll chop now, we'll chop see. It's good season. <laughs> Um, I, I went to look for a job. You what? Looking like this? I want to help. I appreciate the fact that you're thinking about us and you want to be of help. But I can handle things around here. 
You see, that's the thing. You don't have to handle everything by yourself. I really want to help. I'm used to handling everything by myself. Please let me help. Okay, let me ask you, how exactly can you help me? You don't even know who you are. You can't remember your name. How on earth are you going to help me? You can't even help yourself. You know, you staying in my house is temporary, right? I'm sorry, but you can't stay in my house forever. I know I, I'll leave, but I need a job. I need to stand on my feet as a man. I'll see what I can do. But first of all, I need to get you in new and neat clothes because no one is going to hire you looking like this. Thank you. Steps out for a bit. Okay. Are you okay? I don't. I don't really feel too good. I feel kind of worried, but I'll be fine. Okay. Oh my God! You're burning up. I sure we shouldn't go to the hospital. No, I think it's maybe work stress. I'll just sleep more. I'm sure I'll feel better. Out. You know what? Let me help you to the room. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll just try and get some more sleep. Can't speak, my mom. How did you know her school? Well, I had to pick her because I didn't want to disturb you, and she actually mentioned it to me. So I just told the bike guy, and he took me. Oh my god! I, I don't know if I should be mad or happy that he allowed a stranger pick my daughter from school. Well, well they tried calling you. Yes, they tried calling you, and you were not picking up. So they took a photograph of me before releasing to me oh god i i i think i overslept and i was so weak and tired i i slept off and i forgot to mention it to Ronge to help me pick her up i'm so sorry okay so if you didn't go to the school my daughter would just be there stranded nobody to take care of her well god i feel so bad it's okay just take it easy yourself this week has really taken a toll on me. It's been a hard one. But please, next time, wake me up. Okay. Noted. But I insist that you have to go to the hospital, Mary. This is the first time you are calling me by my name. Anyways, I hate hospitals, Bruce. I hate everything about it. The only way I'll go to a hospital is if I was taking the unconscious. Well, I took the liberty of getting you some drugs on my way back from the school. 
You did? Yeah. Okay, how did you get the money to buy this for me? I still have the money you gave me. Yeah. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Anytime. And young woman, I'm sorry once again. Hmm? I'm really sorry. Okay? Hope I'm forgiven. Yes, baby. Hmm? Come back and sleep. You're not going to school today. No, mommy. We have spelling bee today. I'm tired. I don't feel too good. Okay, go and look for Auntie Ronke to get you ready and take you to school, okay? Hey, you. Are you okay? Mommy is very tired. She's too sleepy inside. Where is Auntie Ronke? She, she, she stepped out. Also. Okay, she, she's here. Hi, baby. We are not ready for school yet. Mommy is very tired. Are you serious? I could actually mm -hmm. take her. Oh no, don't worry, I'll take her. I'm coming out and check her, mommy. Sorry. She's running temperature and I need to take her to the hospital. So, I'll get Amara ready for school and I'm trusting you to please take her straight to school. Sure, of course. <laughs> I, I, I want to help in any way I can. Okay, thank you. And Mary told me you brought her back from school yesterday. Thank you so much for that. It's my pleasure. Okay, honey, um, go and shower. I'll make breakfast and then Uncle Bruce will take you to school. Okay? I don't take this opportunity for granted. She's like a daughter to me. Do you have a child? I don't remember. I don't know. It's okay. I understand. Now let's go and get ready for school. Do the chop. Sometimes they come like memories haunting me. Mine is actually memories that haunts me whenever I close my eyes. You know what they say. 
that sometimes our deepest needs, fears and desires are revealed in our dreams. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we relive past traumatic experiences in our dreams. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Um, thank you. Thank you for all your help and all you've done for us. Thank you. I'm glad I can help. I'm glad I'm here for you guys. Thank you. Let me get you something to eat. <laughs> Let me um. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. Doesn't <clears throat> make you more comfortable. Thank you, Bruce. Mm. <clears throat> Let me take care of you. <laughs> if you let me, I will explain. Maybe you will understand. Everything is gonna be okay. What are you watching? Moana, I know. <laughs> Come and join us. Of course I'm joining. Sit here. Welcome, Mary. No, you don't have to. Stay. Thank you. So what are you watching? You see, young lady, I came back home. So you could go for your date. Am I not nice? You are. <laughs> you look amazing, by the way. Thank you, baby girl. You really look nice. Thank you, Bruce. I have to go now. I'm late. All Bye. right. Have fun. Thank you. See you later. Mommy, look, the tea is trying to swallow Moana. Oh, look at that. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you did here. What's funny? Oh, oh, but you and this is your Peruvian dreadlock. I've been a Halloween dad. I will see this up, self guy. Eh? Well, that's my new disguise. Disguise from waiting now. What time you know? <laughs> hey, well, I know they finish you. So you are the you are the wear dread. I don't waiting I could call this one a wig I've been a, you are the wear up every day by day. What's it, what's it be your it really be your plan? Girl? Yeah, I said with time you will know. English. I will know Abby. You know child. I better go cook. <laughs> I said like that like you say like that like we don't child. <laughs> I heard yeah. the beard younger normally. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there, I'll wait for you now. You know, so now you cook. Hi. Um, go, go inside and wait for me. Go. Hi. Hey, beautiful. How are you doing? Cool. Um, what I are you? This for you. Thank you. Well, what are you doing here? Um, I, I tried to call you on the phone, but you weren't responding. Um, did I do anything wrong? No, not at all. I've, I've just been under the weather. Oh my and gosh. Busy too. I'm good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, how are you feeling now? Are you feeling better? Yeah, I am. I'm glad. Um, the. Is she yours? Who? Uh, the beautiful little lad. Oh, yeah, she is. Wow, that's, that's amazing. I have one too. She's six. You do? I do. Oh, wow. Yes. Well, how is the mom? Uh, uh, she died giving her life. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I had no idea you were married. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh no, we weren't actually married. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, still. It's okay. It's, uh, it's, it happened a long time ago. Yeah, so um, I was thinking if, I don't know if you're going to be free for us to hang out. You know, just get some air, 
get a few bottles. I just got in from work. I'm a bit tired. Oh, work? Yeah, I am. Um, I am a cab driver. No way. Really? Yeah, I am. Wow, that. That's amazing. I mean, I've never seen a female cab driver in my life before. Really? Yes, it's absolutely amazing. You know, people look down on me when I tell them I'm a cab driver. I didn't expect you to be different. Oh, come on. It's, listen, the most important thing is you make an honest living. And it doesn't change my feelings for you at all. Thank you. You're welcome. Mary, listen, you should, you should own it with pride. It's your thing. You're making a living by yourself. I'm super proud of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you still want to go out? Okay. Um, I mean, I could ah, okay. do with that. Okay, so you, you want to drop that? Okay, we won't be long. I promise we I will not be long. All right, that's fine. Give you some time. Finally, thank God. <laughs> I actually never wanted to interrupt, but I am in support of this because this lady right here never goes out. So thank you for offering to take her out. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, this is my friend Ron. Ron, this is Taddy, my friend. Hi, Hi. nice to meet you. My pleasure. Oh my God, you're so tall. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you too. Oh, please. I should go change into something else. No, 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 no. You look absolutely beautiful. You're amazing. Let's go like this. Okay. Will you hold on to this for sure. me? Sure. Yes. Have fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. This place is really nice. In fact, every part of this house is beautiful. The power downstairs, now this one. Well, nice. thank you so much. Uh, but it's my friend's house. I just put up here anytime I'm in the country. Really? Yes. Your friend has got good taste. His house is really beautiful. Thank you so much. I like. mm -hmm. um, why don't you sit down while I go to the kitchen and fix us something? I could help. Really? Yeah, sure. I would love to. Okay. Well, let's go. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, okay, let's go. This was a surprise. Thank you. Oh my God. I wasn't expecting any of this at all. I almost forgot it was my birthday today. <laughs> but thanks to you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I hate being surprised, but I love this. Thank you guys. Thank you. Bruce, I know you are behind this. Well, I, I, I wish I could do more. I mean, I wish we could do more. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Oh my God. Okay, so where do I start? Let me start. Somewhere. Okay. Oh, this is from my cutie pie. Come here. Mm, I love you too, darling. Oh, I love you. Wow. Okay, now I am 
excited. I don't even know how to feel. How did you guys get the money to put this together? Ronke, Ronke brought money. He brought most of the money. Bruce, yeah. you have money? <laughs> well, yeah, of course, from, from family. Your family? Yeah, family. The, 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 the family that I helped to clean their house, you know, they, they pay me for it. Yeah, so I, I just used the money to do this. Um, clean the house. Are you talking about the job Ronke talks about? Spot on, yeah. You took it? I did. How come I had no idea you did? Uh, well, I did and uh, they pay me heavily for it and I, I decided to use it for this. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you for the surprise. I mean, I wasn't expecting this at all. Wow, you guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys. You're oh, thank you guys. Yes, and uh, sorry. This um, this also came in for you from the same delivery guy that brought in the other time. Oh my god. Happy birthday, Mary, from your guardian angel. This person mentioned my name. He or she has never ever mentioned my name, but he or she did. I mean, this person, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Um, can I trust you? Can we trust you? Of course, of course. I, 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 I am, I am harmless. I, I can never bring any kind of harm to you or Amara or even Ronke here. F of course, you can trust me. I'm trustworthy. Okay, so this has been going on for over six months now. I usually come back home and I meet a wad of cash in dollars in an unclosed envelope right in front of my door. Um. It's been going on for a while now, but I've never ever bothered to find out who it's from. All I see is the money and a writing from your guardian angel, that's all. So this is the fourth time I'm getting this. Now I am beginning to get worried, like really worried. I've never really given it a thought, but I'm worried now. I mean, it's weird how this person keeps sending money without revealing his own identity. And who knows if it's clean money. Now you're making me scared, even more scared. No, I'm just being honest. We just have to be careful. Okay, I don't know if I should be excited, sad, worried, mad. You know, I, 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 I don't... don't think there's, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. This, I mean, we should be happy, right? You need the money. Of course I do. Yes, you need the money to help you offset, you know, your bills, take care of Amara and, and other things around the house, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's true. On the good side, that's mm. true. Because, I mean, thank you, guardian angel, whoever you are. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So, it's my birthday. Can we go back to the birthday movie? Of course. Of course. Of course. Okay, yeah. so, should yeah. I cut when the cake or do the wine or what, what are we doing first? Um, okay, we should, we should um, start. Okay, there oh, we go. What, what do you think? Oh, hey, darling. How are you doing? I saw you the other day. Oh, yes. You saw me the other day. My name is Tadi. Are you mommy's boyfriend? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. She's quite an inquisitive child. All right, run along. No, no, no. It's okay. I'm, I'm mommy's friend. Just like Uncle Bruce. Uncle Bruce? Okay, you need to get going. Um, it's a um, um, oh, family friend that lives with us. We should get going. 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, by the way, you look stunning. Thank you. You're welcome. You, you want to go first? Oh, sure. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I'm good. Okay. Wow. Well, Take her. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Calm down. We're not shouting. Who's going to my room? Calm down. I'll explain later. Yes, of course. This. Um... Oh, I have no idea. What's going on? Um, um, it's Bruce. Yeah. is just shouting. Yeah, she's just a bit, a bit drunk. Okay. I wanted to I wanted to take her to a room but oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna Easy Easy, 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 easy. Yeah. Good. Oh that talk to me, Joe. What? What's going on here, man? What the Can you need to no? Can you need to calm down? Calm down. Look, let's talk about this like men, alright? Take her. What are you doing here? I don't know what is what is this thing on your head? Oh, so this is what this is about. The, the, the tattered clothes, the, 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 the rough appearance. God, I hope you forgive me for what I'm about to say. Tega, what are you talking about? It's been one hell marathon with you, Taddy. <laughs> yep. I promised you two days of fun, and this is me fulfilling it. I must say I've had quite a red date this year. All thanks to you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Spend the night with me here. Nothing has to happen. <laughs> Listen, Mary. I, I want you so badly. I'm not even going to lie about that. But you made it clear that you're not ready. And I'm willing to wait. Come here. I want to hear you snore. I want to watch you throw your arms around me in deep slumber. I just I just want to I just want to wake up next to you. That's all I ask for. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. What's, what, it, it, it's late. You can't go out by this time. What's going on? I keep having these nightmares. God. Nightmare? Yes. Same nightmare? More like reliving a nightmare. Something that happened to me eight years ago. I keep seeing it all the time. I was raped on my way back from school eight years ago. So a group of men with their face covered kidnapped me and took me to a lonely place. They starved me for days. But one of them was kind enough to bring me food. He kept bringing me food until he raped me. Even though he was forced to do it. Jesus Christ. What do, you, what, what, what do you mean he was forced to do it? The leader of the group wanted to make a man out of him. And what best way to do that if not giving him a woman? He raped me. After two weeks in their captivity, they let me go. But I realized I was pregnant. 
Tamar is the product of that rape. It's okay. It's okay. I try so hard to forget that memory, but it keeps haunting me. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Even when I close my eyes, I see it. My subconscious keeps telling me, and I keep seeing it. I've tried so hard to forget it, but I can't. I, I was, I was broken today. I, I, I felt very bad. I hated myself. Even though he was forced to rape me, I never gave my consent. Rape is rape. And and, and, and and those bastards are still walking free on the on the, on the road. They never got they never got caught. No, they never got caught. But I love my daughter so much. No matter the circumstances surrounding her birth, I love her. She's the best thing that has ever happened to me. Listen, I'm so sorry that you had to go through that. And and, and I appreciate your courage. For, for, for giving me such 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 a such a huge information. Thanks for listening to me. I have never been able to share this, but I'm happy I can share this story with someone that's not family. Thank you. It's okay. I'm really sorry that you had to go through that. And thank you for trusting me with this vital information. I'm so sorry. Come here. Hmm. The girl is falling my hands. <laughs> okay, if you want to do it again. Are you sure? Like it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more time, then crawl. <laughs> so let's try again. You want to catch me? You you are the break. Right, let's go again. Eh. Eh. Let's go one more. Yeah. There you go. <coughs> Mr. Bruce, are you okay? Oh my God. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Sorry, Uncle Bruce. This this doesn't look good. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Do you need anything? No, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you. Sorry, Uncle Bruce. Thank you. So Let me get you water to clean up. Not the one. Tell me she's not the one you told me about. What are you talking about? Tell me she's not the one your brother raped. How? She told me everything and I got to figure it out. You bastard. Just calm down. How could, how could, you, how could you be a devil? How could... Just calm down, man. I'll tell you everything. Just calm down, please. I... It wasn't my brother. It was me. You devil! Hey, just calm down. Let me tell you everything you need to know. Stop talking. I am tired, Daddy. I don't even have much time left. What do you mean you don't have much time? This is a life from before. It happened eight years ago. And this is me trying to make restitution. You better start talking. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but... You better start talking, bro. I'm losing patience, Hade. Please, don't look at me like that, Teddy. I had to come here. I had to, I had to be sure. I, I had to. But, 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 but why? 
You should have stayed away, bro. You should have, you shouldn't have shown your ugly. I have bro. cancer today. I'm sick. So you can cry, so you feel pain. Just look at you, imagine you feel what I felt. Cry out your eyes. I have cancer. I'm tired today. As it is right now, I don't even know what my fate is. And that's why I'm here. To make amends. Is it... Is it bad? Okay. How, how bad? It's bad, Teddy. Very bad. And this this whole this this whole thing is just just so complicated, man. This whole thing is messed up, man. You see why I had to come back. No, you see why I had to find them. I needed to find her, Teddy. How, how how did you even find them? When I got back into the country. I had to hire a private investigator. And because I knew her name, it wasn't hard. And while I was at the house, I took a strand of Amara's hair from her hairbrush. I had to, I had to conduct a DNA because I wanted to be sure. She's yours, bro. She's your daughter. She told me. Bro, you have to let him know. I was young, Teddy. I didn't have a choice. But I regret everything that I did. And that's why I'm here to make amends. Teddy, like you have to tell them. You have to tell them. I mean, you will tell them. You can keep them in the dark. I don't know if I can. You can, and you will. You don't expect them. I mean, considering your, your, your situation, you, you have to tell them, bro. You tell them. The test results are out, Daddy. I had to run the test a second time to be sure. But we still ended up with the same result. I'm so sorry, Tega. There is no good news. The cancer is back. And this time it's more aggressive. We need to start a tumor immediately. No chemo's dog. I told you. But what, what, what are you talking about? We have the chance to treat this once and for all, and you choose to let it kill you? You just want to die? You, but you heard what the doctor said. He said the cancer is, is, is more aggressive. Look, I'm tired of multiple rounds of chemo, all right? I'm tired. Listen, bro. We are going to have a chemo, all right? This is not your decision to make. I mean, think about your family. What, what, what will become of Mary? And, and, and your daughter, you think they're just going to be happy? And they're just going to sit back and watch you and just watch you lay down and die? They have you, Tadi. They have me. They have me. Doctor, please, when do we start this treatment? As soon as today. Okay. Um, you know what? We are going to get ready, um, okay. get everything we need for the, for the, the, the chemo, and then okay. we we'll start immediately. Okay? Okay. Bro, let's go. My mind was made up. No chemo dog. I just want to lay in my bed and die in peace. Have a lovely day, Doc. Guy, just leave this be. Please. Leave it be. Leave what be exactly? I should leave you to die? Well, my life, my rules, alright? 
Oh, come on, girl. You can't be that selfish. Listen, there's a lot of people who care and love you. You, you can't just put us through that. Think about what you're doing, girl. What are you saying? I just... What I have done is accept my fate. That is what I have done. No, that is not what you have done. That's not what you're about to do. You're practically going to lie down and die. And that's unacceptable. I'm not going to let that happen. Think about your family, bro. Think about Mary and your daughter. How do you expect them to take this? Look, I already made arrangements for them. They'll be fine. Hi, Teddy. Um, Mary, I, I can't explain. What? Teddy and I... Why are you looking different? Clean? Why is... Why is your hair? Mary, let me explain to you, please. You, you see, Wait, Tega did you here. just call him Tega? The name is Tega, actually. What? Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. You both know each other. So, oh my God, wait. What, what exactly is going on here? You've been pretending to be who you're not? God! Mary! I can't believe I let them into our lives. I can't believe I couldn't see them for who they truly are. Who are you talking about? Bruce and Taddy. They lied to me. What? Tell me everything that happened. They know each other. I was such a fool. Oh God. What are you doing here? Wait, please, let oh, me please. Babe, please. Please hear me out. Get out. Listen, I, I Get out of my house. Please, I swear to God, I, I, I had no idea you, you guys knew each other. It, it was just that night that I, I brought you back home drunk that, 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 that I found out. So he, why didn't you tell me where you found out? Why? I, I, he begged me not to. He, he's my friend. I, 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 I just couldn't. Okay, so leave my house. Leave my house! Mary. If you don't leave now, I'm going to do something you never expect me to do. Leave! Now! Mary. Use the door. I said leave! I'll, I'll, I'll text you. Lose my number too. You have to stop torturing yourself with the water. How can I? I mean, how can I do that? They both deceived me. You want to know what I think? I'm listening. I think you should just hear them out. I don't even want to talk to them. I, do, I don't want to. Look, I have nothing to say to both of them. Thinking about it, I believe they planned all of this from day one. It was well thought out and planned. I know. And I feel oh. stupid. I feel so stupid right now. I get it. You let them into your lives and they threw your kindness to your face. But they want to talk, eh? They've been calling me for days to help them speak to you. I can't even look at any of them in the face, especially Tega. His betrayal hurts. is piercing my heart. How could he? Don't you want closure? Don't you want to know why they came into your life in the first place? Why they did all of this? Eh? Please. Bruce is here. What? Hell no. No, 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 no. Don't even start. Please. Be please. No. Just trust me this Ron, one. Please, 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 please. Babe, please. Just... please. Ah. Oh, God, no. I beg you, babe. Just trust me this Ron. one. Just please. Just this one, okay? I will never hurt you, okay? Just trust me. Bruce? Thank 
make your own clear. You don't have to. Please stay. I know I've sinned against you, Mary. Please forgive me. You are forgiven. Leave my house. Babe, calm down, okay? Just calm down. I know I hurt you in unimaginable ways. I do not even deserve your forgiveness. Of course you don't. You don't deserve my forgiveness. Leave my house. I was still talking about how you deceived her or something else. I'm coming to that. This confession has been eight years in the making. Eight years ago, you were kidnapped and raped. I was one of the men that did that. Oh my God. Get the hell out of my house. No! Mary, I was young. I was young. I didn't have anyone to guide me. I lost my parents and I needed to survive. And then Baba Debu recruited me. Honestly, you have to believe me, I did not want to do this. But he forced me. Get out of my house. Get out of my house! Mary, please. I know how traumatizing that moment was for you, but. Please, just hear him out. We can't even believe what I'm hearing. I don't want to hear whatever he has to say. Leave my house now, please. After that incident, I really wanted to get away. I prayed to get away. Then thankfully, my aunt came in from Canada and took me to her house in Lagos. From there, I left for Canada, and that chapter of my life was done. It was done for you. That chapter ruined me. That chapter haunted me all my life. I know. You don't know. I know. You don't. I've had to live with this all my life. It wasn't easy for me, too. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me, please. How did you find me? Remember Baba Debu used to call names to make sure that no one escaped. Your name stuck in my head after that incident. You call raping me and ruining my life an incident? I hate you. You disgust me, you a pig. Years later, I made something of myself. I never forgot you. Then I hired a private investigator to find you. So it's been you. It's been you dropping money at my door. That was the only way I could help. It's been you. That was me trying to help. Oh, God. I watched you every single day since I got back. Maybe I'm really sorry about this. I can't even believe what I'm hearing. So what about Taddy? Did you plant him in my life too? No, I did not. Does he know? Yes. Oh, God. He actually beat me up when he found out the truth. Look, I've, I've, I've had enough of all of this. I'm tired of hearing this. Can you just leave my house, please? Please. Please. Why did you come into their lives again? I came back because I needed to meet her. Amara, my daughter. You have no rights. You have no rights to my daughter! You don't! She's my daughter. You don't! I need to be part of her life. Leave my house. You don't have any right to my daughter. So this is why you came back. This is why you brought your sick self back into her life. I, I, I did not come to take her from you. I only came because 
I wanted to meet you too and be part of her life. Please forgive me. Hey, I shall never be part of our lives and I'll never, ever forgive you. Now leave my house. Mm. Leave my house before I do something you will not like. Leave my house! Now! Mm. Go! Mm. Leave my house! Leave! Leave my house! Leave! Leave! Mm. Calm down. Why are you supporting him? I'm not supporting him, but he's dying. He has cancer. Don't care. He deserves everything happening to him. Mary, babe. Come, come on now. Mary, it's been a month and you're yet to forgive Not either. In front of my daughter, okay? Um, honey, go to the room. I'll come to you later. Please forgive her, Kubus. What's going on here? Have you been talking to her? Mary, the walls of this house are very thin. What do you know? I just know that you're angry with Uncle Bruce. You kept screaming and chasing him away until he stopped coming. His name is not Uncle Bruce. His name is Tega. Mommy, please forgive Uncle Bruce. Ask him to come. I miss him a lot. Look, honey, you're just a kid. There are things you don't understand. Okay? So go into the room. I need to talk to Aunt Sironke. We need to have adult conversation. Go. Mary, he's a father. Stop. Stop it. The last time Taddy came here, he said Tega's condition is critical and he might not live beyond this month. Please, just forgive him and let him die peacefully. I know he hurts you, but he's dying. Would you let him die without your forgiveness? Please, forgive him and grant him the wish of dying a happy man. He never forgot you. He came back for you. For both of you and tried his best to correct his wrongs. He has been calling me to plead with you, and even Taddy has been coming, but you have refused to listen to either of them. 
Oh, they hurt me. They hurt me so bad. I know. I know, but would you rather he dies without your forgiveness? <sighs> Please. I'm so hot. Hot. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Just forgive them, okay? Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Kari, let's not talk about us now. We'll deal with that later. Where is he? That is the best thing that has happened to me. Baby, your mommy and daddy has to talk, so let's keep them for time, okay? Is my daddy going to die? No, sweetheart. Daddy won't die. But call it until I'm okay. Sorry. Sorry for everything. I'm sorry too. And I'm, I'm sorry it took me a while to come around. Well, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter right now. What matters is that you're here. And I get to hear my daughter call me daddy. I know what you two feel for each other. And I hope that you make it work. It will give me great joy if you two end up together. I have willed everything I have to you and Amara. Yes. Teddy here knows all the workings of my company. He'll put you through. Oh my god, I I don't know what I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I know that cannot erase all the wrong I've done. I want you to live a good life after I'm gone. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I also want to thank you for... for keeping Amara. For not terminating the pregnancy. Considering the circumstances surrounding her conception. Thank you. Daddy, please take care of them. Make sure they lack nothing. I promise you, brother. I'll take care of them. Feel tired. Take me to my room. I need to rest.
Ortega. Thank you for everything. I wish you were here. Everything is gonna be okay. If you 